Before I invented the organ generator, I was well aware of the transfer of life force or organ energy at any distance. This insight was a natural consequence of my dual background, mathematics and physics. On the one hand, as well as uh, practice of so-called metaphysical disciplines, I don't call it meta besides physics anymore, where action at a distance has been an integral part for millennia. Soon I recognized that such action is not meta at all and that it in fact is purely physical and scientific as soon as you introduce life energy or organ energy into the field of physics. Life energy and electromagnetic frequencies can be viewed as being integral parts of a continuum that encompasses both. With either energy, we can define distance as a result of structural differences. While uh, energies that are based on electromagnetic frequencies follow the principle of entropy, Energies that are based on uh, organ energy follow the principle of negative entropy. From this difference, the other characteristics of these two polarities, I call it polarities for now, of energies follow naturally. For life energy, organ energy, structural links are either near identical or they are equivalent to explain that a bit more. This knowledge of structural links besides being of use in work at a distance led to another first for me, a first in human history. This was an actual signal transmission from machine to machine where I used life energy as a medium instead of radio wave or electromagnetic energy. I succeeded in such transmissions a few weeks already after I invented the organ generator. The receiving equipment is relatively simple and for very obvious reasons I am refraining from describing it. In all this transmission later at Christmas 1997 across the Atlantic, uh, I did it then later, and there I needed no amplifiers at all, and this was proof for me for the validity of what I call structural links.